Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello creepy friends, welcome to my Nixie Bobs and welcome to the Birch Box for December. I have just opened the box but that's as far as I've got, basically because I didn't want to ruin it. Look how prettily it's been wrapped this month, they've gone all out with their decor of it. It is so blinking nice. So a few of you have been asking, uh, am I still doing beauty boxes? As you can see from the fact that I look fantastic when I out. Yes, I am. Uh, but I did not do the birch box for last month. The main reason was I had it in my hands. I sat here, I opened it, and I had nothing nice to say about it. The box contents itself were quite bad you pay i think i pay 12.95 for a monthly sub see what i would like is if they did what look fantastic did where you subscribe to it but you don't have to pay all this money up front you can pay it monthly i don't know if birchbox actually do that and i'm just getting it completely confused but the way that they make it look on the website when you sign up is that you've got to pay this lump sum in one lump sum and i haven't got 150 quid to spare on just that one lump sum you pay 12.95 if you're you pay the full price as i do and to get what I got in it last month, it was there was no niceness about it. It was travel. It was tiny sample sizes, and I don't feel personally it was worth the money I paid for it. I did say on Twitter, if you go to Twitter, you will see an actual picture of the contents of what I got. If you go through my media um, segment, uh, I don't tend to put it on Instagram. I do just tend to go straight to Twitter. I neglect Instagram wholeheartedly, as you guys well know if you've been here a while. The best thing about it was the actual box it came in because I love the boxes, the drawers. Uh, we don't seem to have a drawer this time though. We seem to have something completely different it's like a little present box it's like a sort of like one of those type thing oh there's a bag in it so as usual i know not what is in this at all the only thing i do know is that they were supplying benefit treats to everyone that are indeed the sample sizes so i'm hoping not only have we got that but we've probably got like other treats as well i'm in love with this christmasy box oh okay so it's a really nice box this month i feel like i could use that again I love it when you get a box you can use again. That's always the best for me. Oh, Merry and Bright Birch Box, December 2016. So this is our brochure as usual, Secret Sales. Doesn't tell us anything about what could be in next month's, but I think if you've been around a while, you know that generally they do a really lovely festive box in December and then give you a detox box in January for New Year resolutions and all that stuff that I never do. So I can't really tip it out for you because I've really got no way of tipping it out to show you first. So I'm going to have to just go forth with what I have and I'll go straight to the benefit product first. I got Professional. Uh, I have used this before. I have not actually had it in quite a while. Professional is definitely one of the best primers out there that I have seen. Uh, I have not had it for a while because I haven't had the money to buy it for a while. Um, this is a fairly small size one. It's like dinky dinky dinky. Look at that. Miniature would not last very long but would be good to store in another place. Professional basically covers up any lines i used to use it on my nose because it really does blur the blackheads quite well this side as well where i have some big pores and sometimes up here again and on my chin that's my primary use but you can use it as an all-over primer if you wish comes out like almost a skin toned formula if you're of color don't worry because when you actually get it onto your hand it just fades into nothing uh, it's very silky, very much, as I said before, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and also like this Illamasqua one we got from LF uh, a couple of days ago. Sets well and it does just blur fantastically. What I should have done was put it on the bit of green icing on my hand. I have this morning been making cake, so I have element of green and red still lurking on my palms. If at any point my palms come into play and you look and go, your hands are dirty, they're not, they're just covered in food dye that normally does come off but only when I have a bath and I could sit there and scrub vigorously. Next thing we have is a big orange tube anatomicals smoother butts love coconuts coconut and mango body lotion. I'm going to put that on the opposite hand. Um, I'm not normally one for it. Oh this is loose. This is a loose consistency. Smells lovely, very coconutty, not so much mango. Yeah, this probably isn't one I would use. Again, this would be a giveaway one. But also I have to be very, very careful with this kind of stuff. Paraben-free formula, but sometimes I can be allergic to stuff like this. As I think I've said in a couple of videos, I've had a rash on my hand for about a week now uh, that can be irritated and cannot be irritated. So I have to be very, very careful with what goes on. You have three products left. Okay, let's go to this one. Percy and Reed 
wonder bar we've had this quite a lot before i don't know if lf has given it to us uh birch may have given it to us or glossy may have given it to us i'm not a subscriber to glossy anymore purely because i needed the money just to clear that up there i don't necessarily i haven't actually needed to look at the brochure for anything so far i must be learning something i probably have <laughs> So Wonder Balm, I can't actually remember what it does. This, as they say, is the creme de la creme. Cream, the cream de la cream, actually. Have they got it wrong? They're just changing it. A miracle leave-in balm, to be exact, which preps and primes your hair in readiness for all styling products and techniques. It makes your hair, your regular styling products work wonders, giving you more control of better results that last longer applies towel dried hair working from roots to ends to prep for styling can also be worked sparing into drier styled hair to maximize definition well unfortunately i can't quite try this out for you guys because you can see my hair is quite dry uh knotty because i woke up this morning and threw my hair back because i had the cake to work on so unfortunately i can't try this out for you guys but i have heard wonderful things about this so it's consistency it's almost a bit gel like i would guess you would say it would definitely be something you could use on what that's my red tipped finger by the way because it's been red and green definitely christmas it's definitely more of a gel so it would be designed and it would really work well in wet hair smells just shampooy actually not unpleasant the we have two products left and they both look like makeup products so i'm excited we have fierce flicks seat london see it doesn't see it make nail polish i've heard of them looks to be an eyeliner of sorts. I like pencil liner, but I think this is probably like a liquid pen liner. Line Flix definitely kind of says it all, doesn't it? How do I open you? You have no little tab. They haven't made this very easy. And I have no fingernails. <laughs> this is, I can't get in it. I can't open it. <laughs> Why haven't they made this easy? They should make it so I can open it and I can't. I can't get into the eyeliner. Why is it not easy? It came off yet, so it's definitely a pen tipped eyeliner. I'm going to have to leave the rest of the plastic on there. There's a cap. So we will definitely be trying this out live on it because it's fun. And it's been actually a very, very long time since I have used a pen liner I've used I've used pencils for such a long time so this is going to be fun it's very fine it's not at all a fat one so you're definitely going to get a very very thin flick with this so let's apply it together oh does he like it applies a flick really quickly and really really easily i can feel it's still kind of drying on the lid before anybody says anything right i know you if you haven't been here before i don't apply my eyeliner correctly i have to start here and work out here because i can't do it in and then i can't do it out to in i have to do it in to out i just can't do it that way i just can't so i've done a pretty 1950s standard flick i've kind of made it thicker than i would personally draw it it's a lot like the soap and glory eyeliner which is normally a very very popular one really easy really defined and really very very black which i like i do like it i think i look a bit weird now because i've only got liner on one eye but we have another makeup product to play with yet it's bobby brown i've never tried bobby brown <gasps> wow Ooh, smoky eye mascara <laughs> i've never tried bobby brown never in my life i'm so excited i've always wanted a bobby brown shimmer brick but i've never gotten one because they are quite pricey guide 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 oh okay wow it's 23 quid for a full size that's that's quite a lot of money i have to say uh unlike regular volumizing mascara this stuff brings the drama by lifting lengthening and plumping each last thanks to its taper brush and coal pigmented formula we know how to apply mascara and for anyone interested the seat london is 15 pounds for a full size liner so it's double the price you would pay for the soap and glory one and about on par with what i would buy if i was going to buy urban decay's pencil 24 7 velvet liner i've got two eyes uh we've done liner on one so let's apply the mascara to the other i cannot wait to see how well this performs i'm really really excited this is my first experience ever with bobby brown
So in one coat, that would be what I would define as one coat. I haven't got any leftover uh, mascara from yesterday as well, I should say. It's definitely lengthened really well. That's actually quite impressive. I left this eye bare as well when I did see while I was unboxing that it was a mascara because then you can actually see it without having to see the black eyeliner first. So it, well, there was a logic to what I was doing. That seems really impressive. Should we apply another layer, see if we get much length? I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed with this. I've got no primer on either. And I mean, that is the second coat now and you can completely see it. That is amazing. I'm, I want a bottle of this. I seriously want a bottle of this. That is an amazing mascara. I'm amazed with that in just the two layers I've applied. That's amazing. I, w I wanna get me hold of one of these. I am looking for these. I'm gonna check QVC. I'm gonna check Birchbox. I'm gonna see what's there because I, I have to have this mascara in my life. I have to. You're amazing. <gasps> I'm gonna buy a full size one. That may be a Christmas present to myself. That unfortunately now is the end of our Birchbox. And very, very sadly, that's now the end of boxes for the rest of the year as a whole because obviously now I'm not subscribed to Glossy uh, I can't give you anything else but uh, if you did not watch the Look Fantastic box and something to watch out for is that on uh, Christmas Day I'm gonna have a makeup video for you and I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing I'm just gonna say I'm gonna try and make it a Christmassy festive how-to special there's two days of it basically I'm gonna do Thunderbirds one day because I don't want to leave you guys out and then I'm doing uh, beauty on the Christmas Day look for those they will be up and about but I'm looking forward to doing the makeup one especially because I'm only using one brand for it to the best of my ability I'm using one brand and one brand alone so there may be others snuck in but the majority of it is going to be a very, a very something Christmas. That's that's what I'm telling you. Thank you everyone for being here and watching this. Sorry I did not do Birchbox last month but as you can tell I didn't want to be negative. I wanted to try and be positive. I was excited um, about this month's more so. We've definitely had two month, good months worth of boxes. I am looking forward to seeing if LF are going to revamp their box. Obviously because as I said because of the emails and the stuff like that they're going to change things up so that would be good to watch out for. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and nearly muck my words up there please do. If you'd like to follow Twitter because I neglect Instagram as mentioned please do. If not Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone for another video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, dislike, don't get mean on the channel. Happy Christmas to everyone watching, and I'll see everyone again. Bye.